Hi, it's John here. So Michael Gove is going to keep GCSEs rather than going over to the baccalaureate. But he's going to revamp GCSEs so that it's a big exam at the end rather than the constant assessment. Well, what I feel is that um, what, what they want is to teach people to fail. Basically, there are going to be a lot more people failing their GCSEs because um, they're just not the sort of person who can uh, internalise all this stuff forever and ever and then have the big exam at the end. I mean, surely you want people to pass, pass GCSEs, don't you? For a long time I thought that our education system isn't actually about educating people. Um, it's more about refining um, who can do it right we'll take those and we'll educate them further now refine again take a smaller bit refine again refine again until you get the few elite who can do um, the uh, higher quality degrees whatever they are um, history or economics or whatever the higher quality ones I mean, I'm not talking about media studies and things like that and uh, uh, and they, they have to get a, um, a um, a first or a uh, two one, um, and that's it, that's it. At the end of the day, you've got the what they consider to be the cream of the crop, and they can be actually used by by uh, society and all the rest. If you've got a, uh, a two, two, uh, two three uh, two three or three whatever they are, the third, or um, if you've uh, if you haven't got GCSEs. Or, this is it, you know, they can just do any old job, you know, any old, um, uh, you know, cattle class type job. Um, whereas what education really needs, it's not, not shouldn't, shouldn't be about refining all the time, refining the society and then ending up with these um, people who they consider to be the cream of the crop. It should be about educating. Now, of course, the best way of educating children is for the parents to educate children. And most middle class parents realise that and they spend an awful long time with their children um, teaching them their ABC uh, uh, and how to read and things like that before they've even gone to school. So when they go to school their streets above the other kids um, and the other kids actually never really catch up. The ones who've never, never learnt their ABC or um, how to read or write or anything like that. Um, they're, they're always going to be catching, trying to catch up, aren't they? Because the, the other lot are all already, uh, already basically educated by the time they're four or five. So with the way that had developed with GCSEs, where it was a, a constant assessment, so where you could actually use coursework for your English exams and other exams, so it wasn't all based on a big, um, a big. Uh, written exam at the end of the day it was actually what I say it was actually teaching people to pass teaching people to win surely we want that because the evolution of the brain and evolution of education certainly doesn't stop at 16 17 18 19 20 21 it continues the whole of your one's life and you can uh, improve vastly in in your 20s in your 30s 40s you know so it's uh, if, but if somebody thinks they're a failure because they can't actually do exams when they're 16 um, that's going to put them off isn't it you can put them off of education you know turn them into um, I don't know lager louts or whatever you know that it's going to limit their possibilities their their expectations their potential so I, I, I I'm uh, I'm against all these uh, sat down exams at the end of the day because some people won't be able to do them and what percentage does does um, Michael Gove and his buddies think are actually going to become the cream who can do these wonderful things that they do I don't know maybe they don't see it like that maybe they think that everybody can can ramp themselves up to 
uh, a high level at the age of, uh, you know, it's got to be at 16, it's got to be at 18, it's got to be at 20 or whatever, 21, when they, you know, maybe they think everybody get, can go through this sort of sausage machine and be, be like that, but no, they can't. People are different, and that's, that's one of the wonderful things about humanity, isn't it? That people are different. Now, what my main argument is that we need to be model, modeling society for the people that we've got, for the real people who, who are in the world, not for some imaginary, idealized uh, uh, populace of people who have the potential to be um, atomic scientists and, uh, and, and um, geniuses of one sort or, or another. Um, most people are just ordinary, normal people. They just want an ordinary, normal job. And that's what we need to focus our thoughts upon. And with me, you know, I'm very much into uh, gardening and, uh, and the land, you know, and that wouldn't be too difficult to, to, um, to, to create far more work on, on the land, you know, um, horticulture and vegetable growing and, and, and things like that. And, um, and uh, you know, proper jobs, not just picking up litter on the on the roadsides or um, or supermarket trolleys, but uh, some real thought: how to um, create proper jobs for for ordinary people. Any suggestions are welcome. Right, bye for now.